Hi, my name is Cheryl Spangler. I wanted to do this little intro video to tell you a little bit about me, hopefully in like four minutes or less. So I've been doing content marketing before they started labeling it content marketing. I literally learned through failure. I created content. I loved also always, always doing video, but I created content originally that I thought people wanted, but that is not what you do. You actually create, you do not decide what people might like because you think you know. You basically have to you could go out to the industry, you gotta go out to the world, you gotta figure out what people want, and you have to create it. So we're gonna call this Content 101. You have to figure out a way to find out what your audience wants. You either have to do a quiz, you have to do a survey, and guess what? You gotta get out of your comfort zone and get out of your house and get out of whatever it is that you're hiding behind and you have to go talk to people. I did the biggest, best experiment that you could ever do that I actually did for you. And that is that I went live every day for about 320 days straight on Facebook, which means I could not hide behind my video camera and edit it and all nice and cute and then like upload it to YouTube. Although everyone did ask me, why don't you just do a YouTube? And I'm thinking, have you been to my YouTube? I literally do that. I'm omnipresent, omnipresent, meaning I did it one time, I stripped off the audio, uploaded it to a podcast. I pulled down the video, edited it for YouTube. I pulled down the video HD and I put it up on Amazon. Literally tweeted it, Instagram, created it in a square format, created it in a, um, in a vertical format for stories. One video, omnipresent, meaning out to everyone. The thing is, what I learned going live on Facebook for 360 days, or 320 some days, is ultimately my goal was to enhance social connectedness, which kind of confused people, but that's okay. It was that every day I went live about a different topic because I was really, really obsessed with actually implementing the strategy of what is it that people want to talk about? What is it that people care about? So I just went live about a topic every day. It was literally everything from a, a element car conversion van experiment lifestyle to, um, to interviewing people about health and fitness, to talking about death, to talking about my hormone issues when I was bodybuilding. I talked about every topic. And so I noticed that the smaller the topic and the more, the tiniest little word, I would sometimes, I would do it like a live broadcast on just like one word, okay? One time I did a takeoff of Oprah's, one of Oprah Winfrey's first shows 20 some years ago was why why do, do blondes really have more fun? Why blondes have more fun than brunettes or why brunettes have more fun than blondes or something like that. And so I did a show like that. And I found that every time I went live, the more specific, I, I know you probably know this because you probably run agencies or you guys have been doing content marketing or you already know this because thousands of people have literally and continually tell you this. When you get more specific, people listen. And so my topics were kind of like, I'm, today I'm gonna to talk about this, this, and this. And it was like, I would find that people would drift off really fast. They wouldn't have a lot to say. There would not be a lot of interaction. But when I said something very small, like we're gonna talk about death today, or we're gonna talk about how to get a job over age 50, or we're gonna talk about the destruction of my hormones and how to improve yours. Like I would literally just started random stuff. Some, sometimes I would talk about the title isn't important, screw the title, let's talk about anything. Sometimes it would be today I want you to tell me what the title is. So all these different ways to get people to interact and I did the ultimate social experiment for an entire year. And I found a lot of people had hate a lot of people were amazing. I made a lot of friends. I made a lot of mistakes. And this was like a live content marketing experiment. So I'm gonna keep doing more videos here about content marketing. This is basically content marketing 101. Go out and figure out what your people want and then post blog, video blog, create content around it. Do not assume even for a millisecond that you know what they want to hear 
because I did that for an entire 12 months before I went live and every single thing I launched because I am a pretty brilliant uh, funnel creator failed. Okay. Everything I created failed content wise because I was doing what I thought people wanted and what I thought people needed. So you sell them what they want, you give them what they need. And that starts with going and asking them, what is it do they want? So if you have a topic that you want to create content around, the first thing you need to do is just define the general con con uh, topic and then go find what people want to know about that topic. And then you create a tiny little content distribution channel of your own, which is a multi-channel distribution of content based on one tiny segment of your topic you originally started with. And so, of course, I originally started just going live about all kinds of topics and then narrowed it down to enhancing social connectedness. And then, I mean, over a period of months, I mean, people were like, you should just talk about health. You know, you've got that experience. You should really just talk about, you should just interview people. And it, it really it bothered people to the degree that every single week I would have people personally reach out to me that I knew and did not know and tell me, you have to narrow your topic. We're getting tired of watching. I'm like, if you're getting tired of watching, stop watching. You know, obviously you're still watching to see what I'm going to talk about because you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> so it really bothered people, but it did also start bothering me. So if content 101 is you are brilliant, okay? You're brilliant. You just got to figure out what people want to know about the topic you are amazing at creating content around. And that is content 101. So what drop a comment on this video on what topic are you wanting to create content around? And maybe the people who watch this video can like help you say what they're interested in or what they want to know about that topic. You know, if you're a coach of any kind, okay, whether a business coach, life coach, fitness coach, Literally, there's coaches for the tiniest thing, a team building coach, you know, CEO only coach, health, health industry coach, like every single type of coach, you know, say that you want to create content around that. That's broad. I mean, if you're a physician and you want to create content around your business, I would say, what's your business? You tell me it's weight loss and testosterone. And I'd say, great, pick one. Let's talk about testosterone every single day for three months straight with no break and let's see what people have issues with with testosterone and you might find that your content then gets narrowed down to like a little tiny segment of people who take testosterone have the biggest issue with plank so it's really really important no matter what profession you do that you first figure out what people want to hear and you might say oh that sounds easy but no you have to actually do some major canvassing and if you want some insight insight on what I learned after 320 some days of going live about all these different topics that I have personally put in a spreadsheet and analyzed the heck out of. I will tell you what people want to know about certain things and what they could care less about. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Content 101. Um, keep watching because I'm going to keep creating some amazing content creation, how-to videos, what I learned and what I learned to stay away from when I was going live every day for 320 some days in 2019. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.